Hi, everyone. This is Michelle Adams with the Law Office of Michelle Adams. And there's a saying that a good friend of mine, Nadine Roberts Corn, has shared with me. And it's um, that you have either been a caregiver, you are a caregiver, you will be a caregiver, or at some point you will need a caregiver. We are all at some point in our lives at one of those four places. And I bring this up because as November comes to an end, we also recognize that November is National Caregiving um, Awareness Month. And I don't know how many of you have had caregivers in the past or know of a caregiver, but what I recognize is that it's often a thankless responsibility where there is an expectation perhaps on one person or another person to take on the lion's share of the task. And as a family and as a community, as a society, we have to do better and make sure that we are recognizing the contributions that caregivers provide to others in our community. And I, it comes to mind because I was working with a family a few years back and the uh, person who was essentially the one that everyone leaned on did not even live in the state where everybody else was, but she was um, tasked with coordinating the day-to-day -day care for her parent. And when that parent eventually passed away, she had to do all of this stuff at first remotely, but then she was able to get some, um, uh, to be able to work from remotely <laughs> from her job so that she could handle the business here. And it's just a reminder whether you are currently in that caregiving scenario, or perhaps your loved one has passed on, please consider that the one person that everyone leans to, the one person that everyone says, oh, that's the strong one. Yes, maybe they present as the person that can take care of business and you know they're good at dotting I's and crossing T's, but also take into account that this person could be exhausted. And whatever assistance, whatever support you can lend that person, please do so because it is a lot to put on someone. And especially after the loved one has died, it really to some degree um, puts off, post postpones for that person, the grieving and the mourning process because they are so into get things done mode that they don't even have time to mourn the loss of their loved ones. So just your friendly reminder that if you are a caregiver, God bless you, because I know that it is a, a lot of work. And if you know someone who's a caregiver, find a way, not just in the month of November, find a way year round to support that person, to give them you know, a little bit of respite or to treat them to, even if it's a gift card somewhere, do something for that person in your life. So that's it. Uh, again, Michelle Adams with the Law Office of Michelle Adams, and I will see you again next time. Take care.